everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a multi ring pour on this and let's go over my paints. I'm going to use a base coat of black today and that is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. My, paint, my other paints are Master's Touch Ocean Green. Amsterdam pearl green. Now this looks white in the tube, but it does have like a shiny pearl to it. Almost like a color shift kind of paint. Amsterdam light gold. This is the first time I'm using this color. Very pretty light gold color. And I'm using Blick Violet. Courage Posse Ocean Teal Blue, one of my favorite colors, very pretty. And my last paint is again Porridge Posse. This is a new paint I just got. It's called Moody Blue Shimmer, a very dark blue color, very pretty. My pouring medium today is a little bit different. I'm using a combination of Floetrol GAC 800 and Liquitex Gloss Medium in a five to one to one ratio. And I will have all this in the description. And then I used two parts of that pouring medium, one part paint. I did add a little bit of water and let me show you the consistency here. Leaves a little bit of a trace and then disappears. So what I'm gonna do is stop the camera. I'm gonna put my base coat down and I'm gonna fill two little cups here. Just layer two cups. I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, you can see that I have put down my base coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. And I've filled my two cups. And here I'm laying down my rings. And what I did is I used a half of a cup from each of the cups just to give it a little more interest. And now I'm just doing the tipping moving the paints around on the canvas. And I have sped up this part of the um, video for you. And I'm doing a voiceover. Still just spreading that paint out by tipping. Taking a look at it now. And here I've decided I'm going to fill another little cup up because on the upper left as you can see I'm adding that little cup there to add a little more color I felt it was just a little bit too plain and also on the upper right giving it a quick torch don't be afraid to play with your painting just stretching out that paint taking a look at it now I'm taking the leftover of my base coat, that black, just adding some more interest by putting in some of the black lines there. And I am trying to follow the pattern of already existing lines. And here I'm also taking the gold, that soft gold, adding a little bit more color in there. Again, going with existing lines. Again, giving it another torch. Now I'm just using my skewer, adding a little bit of lines here and there, doing a little more tipping. cleaning off the bottom. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up and I am showing you the whole painting here. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It was a multi ring pour on a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This is the upper left hand corner. Here is where I added some of the black and the gold lines in there just to give the painting a little more interest. I got some cloudy effect some nice cells, 
just very happy with the flow of this painting. And here is the lower left hand corner. I will take you up the middle. Seems like every time I use blue and purple, different shades of blue and purple, they really mix well together. Just that little bit of gold added quite a bit also to this painting. I like that black line there. And I will go over to the upper right hand corner. It's a nice, nice area in here. Show you some of those cells I got. Just very pretty. This is an interesting area in here. We'll see how that uh, Amsterdam uh, whitish paint dries, the whitish green, the fluorescent green. And here is the lower right hand corner. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Thank you for spending time with me here today. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.